It's Toddy J here for Planet Flavor. Today I want to make a tomato salsa and a mango jam. I'm going to take you into my biggest patch here and show you my Trinidad Marugia scorpion. It's above my head. It's up there. It's about eight foot high. Chilies, there's a bit of a misconception about chilies where the heat is. Some say the seeds, some say the tips of the chili. It's not true. It's actually in the flesh. It's in the membrane. It surrounds the seeds. This bugger here comes in at about 2 million SHU. That's the Scoville scale, the Scoville heat unit. And your average pepper spray, 100 and 500,000. So it gives you an idea of how hot this mongrel is. It's an absolute killer. And not to be messed with. Here's one here. Look. You could lick it, you could almost chew on the outside. The outside's got nothing on the inside. It is absolute hell. I guarantee you, it's not to be messed around with. When I cut it up, I'm gonna use gloves. I'm gonna be very careful, because if you wipe anything that you don't wanna wipe, or don't want hot, you could be in serious yeah, trouble. In my glorious herb garden, I've got, uh, I've got five garden beds, but most of my herbs are in pots, and you can move them around, chase the sun if you need to, and even heaven forbid, you gotta move out, you can take them with you. So, for added flavor, added flavor, I'm gonna chuck in some oregano, some thyme, some parsley, some chives, and some basil. Do you like my chilies? I've got a few varieties. I've got my Thai chili. They are uh, quite powerful. Size matters not in the chili world. Loci or the ghost chili. Finally at number one, the mighty Carolina Reaper. None of these are red yet, thank God, because they are the top of the pops, and they will do you a whole world of pain. Thank you, so I'm pretty prepped here. I've got um, two litres of chopped tomatoes. That's my rocket. The rocket's going to go in the sauce. I've chopped it up so it can actually stay in the sauce. And there's the onions and the ghost chilli, the butcher loci. The beast that it is. I'm going to just leave that. I'm not going to cut that yet because I'm going to get gold. Got the herbs. I've got thyme, parsley, oregano. Um, oh, I forgot the basil. I have to go and get that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tie that up with a bit of wire and stick it in the slow cooker this time because it's Sunday. I don't want to spend all day trimming and prepping the herbs. That takes ages. I've got other things to do like drinking beer with my mates. <laughs> and, um, so I'm going to bundle that up, put that in the bottom of the slow cooker, and at the end I'll pull it out in one big chunk. And hopefully all that flavour will seep into the sauce. Lovely. I'll go get some. Before I chuck the onions in to the mix, because that's going to be the sort of you know the vegetable component really. I'm going to sweat them down and fry them off a bit because they won't really sort of do what they want, what I want them to do in the slow cooker. They'll just do this soggy and stuff. So I'm going to crisp them up a little bit and a little bit brown, a little bit tasty. I don't like anchovies. Um, I get it man. though, you know what, you had a pizza when you were young, you saw these furry little fish sit on your pizza and you went, oh my god, so salty, so horrible. Guess what, in a tomato sauce, in a sugo, anything Italian, anything tomato-y, for flavour, for salt, for absolute deliciousness in your sauce, you need anchovies. Get onto it. Forget what you know, unknow what you know, and chuck them in there, because they're just great for flavour. One of the worst things about the hot chilli sauces that you buy, is that they're just so hot you can't taste anything it just takes over and melts your face off its skull and there's no flavor and i'm all about flavor anchovies you need your herbs i'm also going to chuck in a jar of capers because they're really good and they're tasty and hopefully this combination of goodies in my sauce will take away from the fact that it's the third hottest hottest chili in the world <laughs> and it's probably going to burn your bum off but what the hell give it a go these onions, when you cook your onions with anchovy as well, oh, the smell, it's amazing. Uh, just for another minute or so, there's 400 mils of stock. Onions are soaking up that stock. I'm ready to chuck it in the, um, in the slow cooker with the herbs. I've chopped the rocket. I've got the tomato tins open. The only thing I'm looking at and I'm still worried about is cutting up that chili. I'm gonna get some gloves. You Back know, in a minute. I noticed my chopping board for this particular purpose is actually a, uh, a shelf off a bookshelf because it's got that laminate stuff on it. It's not porous because as soon as you cut those chilies, I don't want that soaking into the wood and uh, ruining the next ten meals I've got. Like you know, cut up your cut up your ham, your ham sandwich. Oh shit, my mouth's on fire. And the doctor is here. Are you ready for examination? Bend over und cough. Okay, that's my onions and the anchovy and the stock. I've put the capers in already. I'm going to put in probably about 60 mils of white wine vinegar into there and maybe a couple of tablespoons of white sugar just to get things going and some nice preservatives to keep this lasting a little bit longer. Now let's cut that. That's what I was talking about. 
there's the membrane around those seeds. That is where the action is at. I'm not having any of that in the sauce because that's just killer hot. The rest of the chili is hot on its own anyway. And I can tell, I've just cut it. The smell in the air is pretty overpowering. And I know that if I was to lick my fingers now, I'd be in trouble. With all that liquid, I'm not sure that one chili is going to be enough. And I was going to put the Marugia uh, scorpion in there in this sauce and the ghost in the mango chutney, but I've done the other one first. So I might get two of the ghosts for the salsa and maybe do one scorpion for the mango. Let's just do it. Whatever. Oh, yeah. The gloves are off. I'm going to wash this hand profusely. Like, what are you doing? I can smell that. What the hell are you doing? Don't worry, girl. It's not for you. And that's done. I wash my hands. I'm all good. I'm in the clear. Green light. I'm going to seal that. I'm going to come back in maybe an hour and give that a taste. Maybe a couple of hours. It's 12:15. It's Sunday. It is beer o'clock. Now we probably know you're probably not supposed to um, open up the a slow cooker while it's doing its thing, but I really want to spread those chilies around because you want it to infuse the whole thing. I don't want to just sort of smash in one section and mess it up. I want a pretty consistent sauce here. Um, chilies, it's the capsaicin that is the chemical compound that makes it hot. Actually, this is probably, I got it wrong before, it's probably at number seven. The butcher loci, the ghost chili, is about number seven on the charts. Still hot, it's just over a million, SHU. Whereas the uh, Carolina Reaper is up to about 2.2 million and the Maruga, which I'll put into the mango chutney later on, is around about just over 2 million. So, by the way, it's still pretty hot and I've got two ghosts in here, so I won't have a taste now, you're pointless. I'm gonna leave that for an hour, crack a beer and enjoy some sunshine. Okay, it's been an hour, I'm going in. Got good flavors. Oh, it is. Oh. That's pretty hot. Hey, Graham, I'm back in the lab. It's been actually six hours since I put the sauce on. Um, I'll be getting on the sauce with my mates. We've had a cracking Arvo, some martinis, a couple of beers. I'm back home now. <laughs> the pot is off the boil. Six hours. It's fantastic. It's perfect. It's got a really good amount of heat. It's really, it's really hot. It stings your mouth. But it doesn't carry through your body. It's not nasally. It's not a head heat. It's just enough to know you've got a class A chili, but it's got all the flavour that I wanted to put in there. So everything's worked out pretty sweetly. I'm really happy with it. And I've thrown it on a bowl of pasta straight away. Fettuccine, hot chili sauce, lovely. That's me done. There's your hot chili sauce. Wrap it up. Tag it and bag it. See you next time. Planet Flavour!